Hey, what's going on there, guys? This is Blake with Social Nerdgasm back here with you. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Magic the Gathering Booster 3-pack. Um, this contains one promo card, along with three uh, standard booster packs, uh, random packs. So I don't know what I'm going to be getting here. Um, I'm guessing they're not going to be uh, standard play, as in tournament play. Um, they're just going to be you know older packs that they've been wanting to get rid of. Um, so Magic the Gathering there, one game, infinite possibilities. Um, and the only reason I really picked this up was I really liked the card on the front. Um, as we can see here, let me take it out of the package, and we'll take a look at this card and all the other cards that come up. Um, now I am going to be doing uh, Magic the Gathering booster pack openings and tips and tricks and everything uh, on this channel. Um, Friday Night Magic there, of course. Magic the Gathering is always sponsoring that. And um, here's what you get inside. So there's our promo card. It does have a slight bend to it. A little, uh, that's okay though. Um, you get a pack of Innistrad. We get a pack of the 2012 core set. And Scars of Marodin. I really like that pack. So we'll be taking a look at those in just a second. And here is our first card. Um, so. It's a 4-4 Legendary Creature Giant Warrior. Um, I really like it because my main deck I like to use, it's non it's just traditional play. Um, so it has cards from, you know, all the way back from the mid-90s all the way till now. Um, and uh, I really like it because it's a red-white deck. And you don't find, at least I don't ever find, too many cards that are strong and both colors. Um, so this is Brian Stout Arm. And uh, he cost four mana, as we see there. He's a 4-4 giant warrior, legendary creature. He does have lifelink, which is great. Um, and you tap one red to sacrifice a creature other than Mr. Stout Arm here. And he deals damage equal to the sacrifice creature's power to a target player. So, you know, he, that's a great ability. And I really, really, really enjoy the lifelink. 4-4 um, for four, four, four costs with lifelink. Great card, definitely going to be going in the deck. So we'll put him up over here. Um, now, I got this at Walmart, and that's what all the packs had was him on the front. So I just picked a random pack out. Um, and I guess we'll start off here with Scars of Marodin. Sorry for the lack of content on the channel recently. Um, I've been trying to get some stuff up. Uh, been working pretty hard. And uh, just not been home a lot. So, uh, of course, these are 15 card booster packs. So, here first we have All Rock Sun Chaser. And remember, you can pause this video at any time to read what it says. I'm just going to go through these cards. So, if you want to see what this particular card is, pause it, take a view of it, and uh, move on, unless it's something that really catches my eye. We got an Iron Murr. Plate it, Sea Strider. Oh, there's your cost there. Galvanic Blast. Loxodon Wayfair. Now, this is good for uh, anti flying decks here. This is Wing Puncture. Steady Progress. It's got a proliferate. A lot of people will like that card. Horizon Spellbomb. Artifact. Glimmer Post. It's a land. You can add one colorless to your mana pool. And when it enters the battlefield, you gain one life for each of these on the field. So that's pretty cool. Barbed Battle Gear and Equipment. This is ex exsanguinate. I don't know what that one. That's pretty hard to pronounce there. Bellowing Tangleworm, 4-4 creature with Intimidate. Other green teachers you control also have Intimidate. Great for an overrun deck. Spike Shot Elder. Got a little chum. Of course we have our forest card. Along with a Myrrh um, token. 
So, there's that pack. I'll just sit it over there. Next up, we're going to be taking a look here at the 2012 core set. Has the big green guy on the front there. Love this card. Love it, love it, love it. Angel's Mercy, because my deck that I do use is an Angel deck. Uh, Shock, another great card. Grave Digger. Siege Mastodon. Stonehorn Dignitary. Flight. Benalish Veteran. Dark Favor. Oop, I guess I should be pointing more down that way. Uh, Bountiful Harvest. Not bad. This is definitely good for a green deck that you know, draws out at least, you know, seven, eight land. Um, really, really nice there. My phone went off, so we're going to go back to the next card here, which was Goblin War Paint. Volcanic Dragon. This is an uncommon 4-4 four, four Flying Dragon with haste. Gotta like that. Rusted Sentinel, another uncommon card. 3-4 four for 4 cost. Another uncommon here, this is Thran Golem. As long as Thran Golem is enchanted, it gets plus two, plus two. It has flying, first strike, and trample. Awesome. Here's our rare here for the pack. Whenever a creature an opponent controls becomes tapped, put a plus one, one counter on uh, Jidda, uh, Gidoan's Avenger. I guess that's how you pronounce that. And we got a Swamp card, and we got a just Magic 2012 base set card thing. So, that was that pack. And our last pack is Innistrad. So definitely tell me down below if you guys enjoy seeing this. So I'm a big Magic the Gathering fan. That's my card game of choice. So I love showing off the cards that I get and everything. Um, and I used to have my card shop channel, so that's why I uh, wanted to put this on this channel because this is one of my big geeky pleasures. Um, so here we go. We got Blood Crazed uh, Neonate. Or, yeah, Neonate. Silver Chase Fox. Curse of the Bloody Tome. Cobbled Wings. Geist Flame. Not bad for one cost. It's got a flashback on it. Moon Heron. Caravan Vigil. Search your library for a basic land card. Reveal it and put it in your hand. More bid, you can put that card onto the battlefield instead of putting it if a creature died. This one. That's pretty cool for one cost. It's pretty much you can get an extra land if uh, you played this during your second upkeep. Ranger's Guile. Butcher's Cleaver. Into the Mall of Hell. Destroy target land, deals 13 damage to target creature. Now that's pretty, that's almost as bad as uh, Shivian Meteor. Scourge, Scourge of Gyre Reach. This is an elemental, costing 5 mana. It gets plus 1, plus 1 for each creature your opponent controls. Awesome. And here we go, here's our rare. We have Champion of the Parish, one cost. Whenever another human enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one, plus one on Mr. Parish here. Magic the Gathering Tactics. Play online now for free. Redeem this code in-game. Oh, okay. 
And this seems to be... I don't know what kind of game this is. I don't know. I know it is on Steam, though. So for your, for your Steam fans. Uh, oh, hello. Here is our card um, for the dual cards. And here we got a dual card. This is uh, Throbin Century. There's his back is Throbin Militia. And our shiny card that we got over here. This is Tribute to Hunger. Target opponent sacrifices a creature. You gain life equal to that creature's toughness. So that was it. That was our 46 cards, actually. Um, and uh, not bad, not bad. So if you guys enjoyed this, please let me know down below. Um, you can pick this up at Walmart for, I believe it was $9.96 or $10.96. Um, something is either one of those numbers. It was around ten, eleven dollars plus tax, um, which is great because the packs alone are three ninety nine a piece. So if you're into just you know collecting the cards and really just wanting to get some better cards for your older decks, um, can't go wrong here. Great legendary we got there as well. Uh, so I'll be back here next time with another uh, review of some sort or booster pack opening. Um, Remember to go back and check out all our other videos if you haven't already, right here on Social Nerdgasm, where uh, geek is our thing. So, until next time, peace out, YouTube.